The first witnesses took the stand today against double murder suspect Junior BB Jr. BB is accused of killing Amy Hensley and Tanya Haworth, and today we learned some new information about this investigation. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks was in court all day long. He joins us live tonight in Paw Paw. Leon? Good afternoon, Brian and Sue. The day got started off with jury selection once they got a jury seated. Then they started opening statements. That's when we learned the most interesting piece of information that we did today, what the medical examiner is expected to testify to tomorrow. The prosecutor says that there were bruises on Amy Hensley's body that he says were caused shortly before she died. The prosecutor's focus was on debunking BB's claims that the victim, Tanya Howarth, shot Amy Hensley in a jealous rage and that she in turn shot Howarth, first accidentally, then again in self-defense. The prosecutor says the evidence doesn't back BB's story and that he lied several times before, before the arrest and is still lying. The prosecutor says he has his own theories of what happened but did not get into those during opening statements. The defense says he doesn't believe there is any other possible plausible theory. The prosecutors turned this on its head. We've told our story and the prosecutors picking holes in it. Fine. I can I can deal with that and I'll return to that in a minute. But that's not his his burden is beyond picking holes in my case. His burden is to make his case. And I didn't hear him making any kind of case at all in his opening arguments. Now, two key players took the stand today. Junior, B.B. Junior's mother, as well as Amy Hensley's husband. And at times, the confrontation between the prosecutor and Junior B.B.'s mother got a little bit heated. We'll show you some of what she had to say coming out tonight on 24-Hour News 8 at 6. Reporting live outside of the Van Buren County Courthouse, I'm Leon Hendricks. Back to you.